Hey everyone, welcome to another evening grocery haul. They're always at night for me. I don't know, we're not morning shoppers. <laughs> um, Cody just got back from Costco. He went because he went at bedtime tonight. He had to go to the city for other reasons. This is what we bought at Costco. So it is Thanksgiving week for us. So Thanksgiving is this weekend. We're Canadian. Don't worry, my American friends. I always get at least one comment being like, did I miss it? What, what are you talking about? Canadian Thanksgiving is this weekend. So this is a weird grocery haul. It's got lots of like holiday food and because of the holiday food, we don't need as many other groceries. Plus remember that the freezer in the freezers in the pantry are still stocked. So this is the haul. Okay, let's start. Applesauce for the baby and for the big babies. Okay. <laughs> Okay, a big bag of cranberries for cranberry sauce and everything for turkey, and then I will take the other stuff and dehydrate them for teas. Um, some green, organic green beans for turkey dinner. We got some fruit, some raspberries and blackberries, some very green bananas. Hopefully those ripen okay. I think he took a chance and bought Costco bananas. Costco bananas are always so green we never buy them. Because sometimes when they're too green, they ripen weird and they like immediately go bad. Does anybody else have that? And do you know how to remedy that? <laughs> Got some big oranges because Mackenzie requested oranges that we could slice. Um, okay, don't, nobody judge me, but I am not a big fan of homemade stuffing. I like the craft stovetop stuffing. I know it's so bad for you, but I love it. So we got two of these, the turkey dinner ones. Turkey dinner, turkey dinner stuffings, stove top. Um, then we got some birthday cake, some rainbow bit birthday cake because not only is it Thanksgiving weekend, but Cody and Mackenzie share a birthday and it falls on Thanksgiving weekend every year. And this year it actually falls on Thanksgiving day. So Mackenzie's gonna have a little birthday party with her friends, some of her friends. Um, they're going to play D&D. It's going to be a great time. And she just requested some Rainbow Bit birthday cake. So I'm going to make her some birthday cake for that day. We got some ranch. The Renee's. We got some more Chipotle mayo spread. Some regular mayo. We got some orange juice. Just a small container. So that we can make Shirley Temples for Thanksgiving dinner. Butter. Because we're going through copious amounts of butter always. I'd rather cook in butter than oil, so lots of butter. We got some sausage rolls from Costco. I will tell you when it stops being Costco. Um, well, I think these are not Costco, but this is still Costco. So beef sausage rolls, we really like these. They're great for like a quick, like Cody's really picky and allergic to a lot. So if I'm gonna make a meal that he doesn't eat, um, these make great lunches or like a quick Cody meal. Uh, the Greenfield, Sausage rounds. Cody loves these. Yeah, the Honestly, like he'll make himself an egg sandwich. That's your go-to, hey? It's my like main, like I need to make a quick food. I'll make an egg sandwich. Yeah, like at like midnight too. <laughs> so we got those. We got some croissants because we are going on a field trip tomorrow and I thought croissants would be fun to, fun, they would be delicious to pack as sandwiches just to mix up the sandwich game also cody still loves to have his croissants with um cinnamon and just cinnamon spread cinnamon spread that's the word okay a big case of ginger ale because tis the season for holidays i am going to mix mine with i wish costco sold flats of the cranberry ginger ale but i have cranberry juice that i need to drink so i thought i would do my own kind of cranberry ginger ale and just do cranberry juice and ginger ale um also, this is an essential ingredient to Shirley Temples. We got some A2 milk. This is from Sobeys. This is from Costco though. Some eggnog, because I've been using it in my coffee. And you know what, sometimes I'm like, oh, I should hold off until it's winter, till at least November. No, life is short, drink the eggnog. That's my motto, <laughs> put it on a t-shirt, okay? All right, there is some chocolate milks. Go through quite a lot of chocolate milks some flour cody apparently got us some little treaty chocolate bars with the the cadbury mini eggs dairy milks these are delicious though 
he picked up some donuts. He went to Safeway and picked up some donuts to take in the morning because we're all leaving really early in the morning to go to our field trip. So he bought us a little treat for that. Some batteries because we're missing batteries. And of course, water for the water cooler because we go through so much water. It's empty. Perfect timing. It is empty. Oh, and then let's... Okay. Move around over here, because we forgot the main, the star of the show. A big bag of onions. No, but there's a big bag of onions. I started buying them at Costco. I don't have the space to grow a ton of onions, so I thought it would be more cost effective and more, like, less tedious to actually just buy Costco bags of onions and store them in the basement where they won't sprout or go bad. It's been working out beautifully for me, because that way I can just plant other things in the onion row. And then we got a pumpkin pie, of course, for Thanksgiving. I'm going to freeze this because, yeah, this says best before October 6th, which is before Thanksgiving. So I'm going to put it in the freezer. And then he got a big, fresh, young turkey. How many pounds is this one? Does it say? It says kilograms. Oh, yeah. This is, wait, it says five slash seven kilograms. They don't know. <laughs> five to seven? Oh no that's just okay it's 6.6 .6 kilograms so that will be good good boy anyway there's our little thanksgiving haul i think that's it all the other thanksgiving fixings i make from scratch Ooh, the only thing we're missing did you opt out of buying sweet you didn't buy potatoes i forgot, hey. one thing I forgot. and sweet potatoes i have regular potatoes where Oh, they must still be in the car. They might have fallen. Oh, the kids might not have grabbed them. Okay, there's regular pota potatoes, but you forgot sweet potatoes. Forgot sweet potatoes. Okay, well, that's fine. I can grab, like, a sweet potato. Sure. I always do, like, mashed sweet potatoes on the side with Thanksgiving dinner, and we need, like, one because Mackenzie requires it to be on the table at Thanksgiving, but there's so much other food that we often can't eat. <laughs> so, um, yeah, there we go. There is our big birthday slash Thanksgiving grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed uh, with this, I'm making a couple of random meals, some of which I already have in the freezer, like we're going to do chili, which is in the freezer, and probably some chicken quesadillas or burritos. Um, I forget what else is on my meal plan, but then the bulk of it is going to be Thanksgiving, so we're going to have Thanksgiving with family, um, and then we're doing a little Thanksgiving dinner, and then it's birthday. So I, we will be eating leftover Thanksgiving for quite a few days and that is going to be the bulk of my meal plan so there's not really any sense in showing you a big meal plan laid out um yeah i hope you enjoyed this short and sweet little vlog costco haul i guess it's not a vlog um thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow in my next daily vlog <gasps> i hope i hope i'm still daily vlogging by then i can actually say that bye Here's a little bonus clip at the end after I've ended this vlog in case this is useful for any anybody. This is what I do with snack baskets. Hey, Kenzie, could you empty this, please? Okay. Um, I mean, if like that's oh, grody, <laughs> onion bits in it. So I yeah, will collect it. things from Costco essentially. Every trip will buy like one snack item in bulk. And then in a couple of trips, basically I'll always have a stash to pull from and so can you just move further? So I keep our snack baskets in baskets like this. And then I have this stash to refill every week. And usually every week I add to it. So we've got applesauce and Rice Krispie Squares and dad's, co dad's cookies from last time. And some granola bars still left over. And then this was what was left in the snack basket. And then these are just like crackers and cookies and stuff. And some granola bars back there. And we will just restock. So... That's how I keep the rotation going. That is, it makes it more affordable feeling because every week we just add a new snack to it and then we can just keep pulling and mixing up and that way we don't go through like a whole pack and get sick of one snack. You can kind of just choose a little bit. So anyway, that's what I do and works for me. Hopefully maybe somebody out there will find that useful. Okay, bye.